G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com. Right in front of me we have um, a man called the Commando. You guys would know him from The Biggest Loser on Channel 10. This guy is a machine and he knows how to how to play games. Is that right, Mr. Commando? That's right. Do you play, so Mr. Commando, can, we, can I call you Mr. Commando or do I have to call you Commando? Mr. 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 Commando, Mr. Commando, I wanted to ask you a question about games. Do you, do you, um, do you, do you play games in your busy schedule? Most definitely. It's, I think it's, uh, it's a natural progression in life. Um, I do have a busy schedule. That's not to say that I don't play games. Alrighty. Um, so in the past, like I know that you you have been in the army and you've worked in the army. Are you allowed to say what you what you've done in the past and uh, while you were working in the army? Oh, I've done a lot of different things in the army. It depends on what it is that you ask me. Rightio. Um, so we are able to actually tell us what sort of uh, role that you did play, uh, that you were you know doing in the army. So in the military. Yeah, I was in the military. In the military. In the military. I was yeah. in the special forces. In the special forces. And I served as a Special Forces Team Commander, or Counter-Terrorism Team Commander. Right, yeah. Which was a fantastic job. I learned a lot of different things from that. Yeah. So, you know, the things that I learned, I transitioned into, into everyday life. Right, yeah. So, have you, I know with video games and stuff, you know, of course you've handled the gun, and you've seen, and you know, you've actually been in probably live combat. Yeah. Um, with games in general that you see now nowadays, like you know, Modern Warfare or Call of Duty, yeah. sorry, Call of Duty Modern Warfare or yeah. Medal of Honor and stuff like that. I'm not sure if you've played those games. How realistic are they? Are they compared to the ones that you know for you in real life? You know, how do you how do you compare them? I guess games are they're a lot different to to real life as such because of the training aspect and what it is that you learn. Like you, you know, you, your body's under physical duress. There's the physiological side of things. There's the psychological side of things. Playing the games, I think you know that you're playing a game, so you can you can. You can relate. You can, you know. There's, there's a lot of different things going on. For me, I guess it's like playing a racing car game. It's like you get a limitless number of racing cars. You know, you just smash one. It's like, oh, you just, you just press replay and you go. Start again. Yeah. So the same yeah. thing. So whereas the reality of life is, you get taken out. You're gone. You're there's, gone. There's, you there's, have there's one no, chance. That's exactly right. 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 So, okay. So, you, have you ever, have you actually got have you ever played any of those first person shooters in the past, or have you gotten in, in the military myself? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I've, I've done a lot of things in my time in the military. Yeah. Um, you know, I got out at a period of time. Yep. Or got out at a period of time prior to a lot of the events that's happened or that are happening nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of my friends have, you know, they're in the thick of it and. Um, they're there now, right now. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm standing here and they're overseas, you know, looking after our country, fighting yeah, the name which of, is fantastic. of our country. And, yeah. um, you know, my hat off to them because they're, they're dedicating their lives to this. Exactly. And, so you know, I've lost many friends that, um, as we've heard in the media lately. Yeah, lately, yeah, exactly. The Aussies that have passed away. I've, I've personally known them. You, you've known them as well. Yeah, it's pretty sad. All right, well, let's move on to a fun part then. What's one of your favourite consoles that you've had you know, in the past or in the future? or like, no, Not in the future, like in the past or up until now, the next generation consoles. What do you, what do you enjoy playing the most if you've got time to play? I, I really like the, the, the racing games. Right. I don't know. Right. I, I wish if I, had my, if I had my life over again, yeah, yeah. to a degree, yeah. I'd like to be a racing car driver. <laughs> you know, it's not to... It's not to particularly have any game in mind. I, yep. I, I like to give them all a go. Like they, right. They've all got their, their pros and cons. Yep. Um, and it's just having the time, I guess, to, to actually be able to play it. Yeah. But, um, it's a bit of excitement and it doesn't cost you as much as actually having a, owning your own race car. Yeah, that's true. That's... It off of the track. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, so what about consoles? Have you... You know, you're like Nintendo. You got the PlayStation, got an Xbox, or iPhone, and stuff like that. What have you? What do you? What do you like the most out of all those consoles? Or in the, maybe like even the in the past, like the original Nintendo or the Super Nintendo. Did you ever play any of those machines or With consoles? The Nintendos. I think it was it was more the, the, the smaller ones. Uh, you know the. Um, the little hand game and watches. Yeah, hand, hand. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Donkey Kong, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Donkey Kong, the double flip screen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Old school. Old school. Now 
nowadays it's uh, it's like the iPhone because I think just the practicality of yeah. you know being able to have a phone, have your contacts, have your emails, yes. have music, yep. have games. It's, it's, it's all in one. Yeah, I agree. Master Rabbit agrees with that one because that's basically what I use as well for t entertainment, which is good. It saves Karen a phone, it saves Karen an iPod. Yep. You, know, you have, have it all in one. That platform all in one. Exactly. But, um, you know, I, yeah, again, it's just finding the time, and, and that's the beauty of having that iPhone. So if I do have a spare bit of time, like, like you know, the old, uh, you hurry up and wait. Yeah. The old hurry up and wait. So you end up somewhere, you're told to be somewhere at a certain time, you yes. get there, yes. and then there's a delay for an hour. Well, exactly. You know, you can, you know, just relax the brain a little bit, kick back, play a bit of Tetris, you know, do some Pac-Man, the old game, like, you know, things that I grew up. Yeah, yeah, that's the same as me. <laughs> that's awesome, that's awesome, that's good. All right, so basically, apart from that, um, you also do a bit of personal training, as you know. Yeah. Could you give us a rundown, like, of um, what's been one of your most hardest things that you've done in your own training career? The hardest thing that I've done in my training career, outside of the training aspect and that consistency and volume, right. is competing in the 2009 CrossFit Games. Oh, really? If you were to condense just that element of intensity and the like into two days, yep. it, like, it left me a mess. Really? Yeah, it was awesome. Hard. And now that you're training, you, you, you know, you're basically on The Biggest Loser as well and you're training all these, um, you know, these contestants yeah. and stuff like that. How is that compared to training like normal, regular, you know, you know, people that you like, have, that, it's, you know, it's, personal training sort of thing. There's such a, 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 a wide, um, such a variety, you know, you've got the people who come to you, um, they're a lot more athletic and they're yep. looking for the edge, yep. you've got the others that are just, they're, you know, their mum, dad, average show, who just want to improve their, their general fitness, and then you've got the people like the contestants who, who do need a physical change, but also they're in the Awesome, all right. Well, Mr. Commando, thank you very, very much. Have you got any last words to say? There are no excuses. Awesome. Thank you very much. Master Rabbit signing out from CapsuleComputers.com.